Welcome back, bogeys. Uh, more tacking and welding on the floor pan. Well, I was hoping to get the actual floor pan done this week, but as always, things don't go to plan. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be done by the weekend. I've got a bit of time over the weekend. So yeah, videos next week. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is just try and straighten this floor out a bit, um, get it a bit higher so it's a bit level, get some tack welds on the other side, and uh, yeah, see how we go, and just uh, basically yeah, start uh, welding things up and trimming things up. Took a little bit of time uh, to get that to match up. I've done a couple of spot welds just to uh, get it a bit better, which I hadn't done before. So, but yeah, I think I do most of the work on the other side. I'm just getting some tacks on this side and then I can just grind them off later. Weld is playing out a bit, it seems to be constantly live, so I think it's a bit full of dust. It does that sometimes. Need to uh, blow the old welder out. Okay, I think that's enough from the underside for the moment. I'll just put a couple of tacks in the back which I'll grind off again around the rear heel board just to keep things in place um, because obviously I do know I need to repair that properly and put the proper lip on it. Yeah, let's get some uh, more welding done on the inside now. Try and fill some of these holes up. You didn't see that, but I've just popped the jack underneath with a bit of an aluminium plate just on some of the areas where, for some reason, I didn't quite cut it very accurately. So at least now, hopefully when I weld, um, it helps fill up the gap without blowing too many holes, but we shall see. Right, I heard it go ping, and you can feel that. That's when I put too much heat in somewhere. Um, maybe I just had the jack too much under tension, so I can feel that now. I can feel that now, that area there. It's bumpy to anything. How notice it will be under the car is another question. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely uh, distorted slightly, so I'm just going to roll the car over and uh, leave it for now. Really try not to put too much heat in each area, keep jumping around, I just stayed on that area too long. And also with a bit of aluminium underneath, pushing on it, I think didn't help. So let's roll it back over and have a quick look before we uh, call it a day on this one.
So the good thing is, straight off, I can't see too much. But I can definitely see it now, there. spot there you can hopefully see that so my expert panel skills are going to need to come into effect now when I move out to the next seam it's good so it's just high there which is good so I'm hoping just a bit of a block on the back and we'll just give that a gentle tap and we should be all right uh, yeah all right, well, I'm afraid I only had a bit of a lunch today, um, but I do have some time at the weekend, so hopefully we get this floor finished and you'll see the, the progress on that over the next week, uh, next next week. So yeah, all good. Um, had a look, I do need special um, bonnet hinges uh, for the Mark one. Although they are damn expensive, the original ones from Heritage seem to be pressed or something. So they seem to want to be more than gold. So I might just try and pick up some old standard ones and try and modify them for now. Because I think the next owner could easily change that. You know, it's not an issue at all. Um, and yeah, um, well, we'll see how we go. So um, have a good evening, everyone. I know it's a quiet Friday. Everyone goes out for a beer, so have one on me. Um, and we got what we got for tea tonight. What we got today? Pulled pork. I'm gonna make some homemade chips, I think. So yeah, all good. Getting there slowly. Till next time. Sorry for the short update.